Hey, some people want sex spots. I'll settle for a chair I can pee in. That's a good one. <laughs> Listen, it's a conspiracy, and they'll never make them. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is Flash Somebody and Vinny Voices at the, the Dorkful Extravaganza. It's spectacular. We're only 37 minutes late tonight because me and Vinny can't seem to tie our shoes and walk at the same time. It's not my fault. I'll blame the internet webs. Say hello to all the good folk down there in the RLM chat. Way down there in the RLM chat looking up at us radio personalities today. (laughs) I I got an idea how we can say hello. We've not done it like this. You start with one. And I'll do the next, and then we'll alternate. But what? who starts first, me or you? I'll flip a coin. Okay, you ready? Wait a minute. Let me get it. All right. Heads, I win. Hold on. Hold Tails. on. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. Ready? Go. No. Tails, you lose. Welcome. All right. So you start. Barman. Grimner. Girl. Gate. Anti. Asmo. Charles Sedoni. Circle. Chloe. Echelon. B. Gram Z. I be Don C. Was on a good A. Hansel J. Dread. <laughs> that was a terrible trick. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Meister Brow Hayden. <laughs> Rain. Oh, what do you say at work today? Probably <laughs> forgot to log off. I said Rain. Ah, R L M Flu. Roms. Vinny Voices. Phantom. Beetle. Cyborg Noodle. Dakota. The Dork Cakes. Hey, Mental. From And Frumpy. Gromit. And Java Doctor 2. J's Nines J's. Kozu. Mm-hmm. Boy. <clears throat> Nathan yeah. Dubois. Toxified. Toxophone. Toxophone. Pond sauce. Sock puff. Skittle. Uno. That's it. Yeah, we end on one, Uno. That's good. Oh, no. Wow. Don't don't have any many, many more brainstorms if you can help it. Oh. Seems like dangerous territory for you to go into. Anyway. Brainstorms? Yeah, those idea things in your head, and you think them, and then you tell your hands to do shit, and then you make them come true. Oh. Some people call them dreams. 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 Dream, oh a, li- dream a little huh? dream. I had dreams last night. I was Did fighting. You? Yeah, I was fighting in my dreams. The internet? No, in my dreams. Yeah, but in your reality, the internet just stomps your ass. Oh, I know. Yeah, I got my... uh got a good ass whooping over on Twitter. so But I, I let myself be walked into that one, though. Oh, well, it seems like you want to indulge us. Don't stop now. Oh, I'm not ready to talk well, about that. I'm breaking up a bowl. you got to be serious. Uh, okay. you got to be serious about things in the door I table. I think your quest. Yeah. All right. So I think we're finally rolling down. It may be a long lag of getting there, but uh, I think we have a successful... Uh, broadcast underway here on reallibertymedia.com it's rlmradio.xyz and the dork table and all the places Grim puts us out to. oh that's like yeah all kind, there's so many it's like a list is long uh, well, I know Rump. we're we're being uh, we've got players over on the RLO that's a realliberty.org site that uh, Freedoms Network and mm-hmm. uh, I think there's some other players but uh, besides the wherever this goes speaker YouTube Bit shoot, uh, um, I don't know, iHeart, I don't know. Yeah, iHeart Radio and all kinds of stuff. Uh-huh. But don't get your don't get your ego all swollen up, sport. We're we're still the minority of minorities. How can we change that? Oh, uh, wait until it collapses, I suppose. Because no, that's a bad idea. I, well, the status mind doesn't want to give in to that reality. Man, it really is a serious battle, and, and a lot of people have that defeatist uh, idea. Like uh, Goober said the other day, waiting for the uh, waiting for a meteorite. Uh, what what hope do you have in, in uh, death and destruction? That's that's my question. 
Right, but it's all the outside interference into you, how you live that make you put out the verbal results you think you have. That's, I'm never unhappy. I'm always a happy guy unless you're with me when I'm not happy. And that that's just not radio time. Would you look at that? Mm-mm. Snow, uh, yeah, Chloe Snucko Duck. Oh, uh, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, and considering it good. The reason I I did the radio is nobody else wanted to do the damn radio. I don't care, one way or the other. Well, Just, you talked me into coming over to Real Liberty Media several years ago now. Hmm. I had uh, you're just like the third person to ask me, and so finally I said, well. Three's a charm. Right. And then like the uh, In a Perfect World, that was supposed to be me and you, not just me. Yeah. But you had all kinds of hardware problems. And burnout. Yeah, but now I'm having hardware problems. We're all having Yeah, Yeah. And I was uh, right after, uh, right about the time of my birthday, there's some other stuff, you know, it's kind of coincided that was like, man, you know, you get frustrated sometimes. And sometimes well, you got to redo Back off. And and, he says, my commentary leaves a lot to be desired. And I would say to him, why don't you give us a, an hour of a test, do, a, do an hour program, and let us say your commentary is blah, blah, blah. Instead of saying that, you should do it. I have a lot of fun on here when I got other people to play with. Man. I'm Who's, telling you. Who said that? I don't see it. Anti, at, uh, he said, uh, he was talking with Chloe about, he's thinking about doing a radio show. Because oh. Chloe said, wish you had a regular radio show, comma, anti. Anti, I am considering it Chloe. What? So there you go. And I was just suggesting, and then after that, he kind of got humble, and I said, wait, well, do the show and let us decide if you're funny or serious or whatever you're trying to be. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can increase my mic. I don't know how to do this, Grimmer. Well, last time that you did it, was your, your pie hole, and uh, when you did that, you got louder enough on my system to play that. It's like I can stick out my tongue and touch the mic right now. Ooh, I just did it. I had to back well, away. <laughs> Arkansas, I understand your boredom, but uh, you can have to tell me you did that. <laughs> Things you don't want to know. La lengua. La lengua se Where all your dreams come true. Anyway, they're posting the delusional reality. What the? Hey. I don't know. What so that? what's on your mind this week, Vincent? We had such a terrible start today. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some things, I suppose. I would like to know where to raise my uh, uh, volume level. Or can you decrease yours by 50%? If I decrease mine, then what? I don't then know. I'm, don't well, you, what I want that for? Yeah. What have you lost your freaking mind? I have lost my mind. Let me try to speak a more louder so my mind is less uh, clouded. That could help. <laughs> what do you want to talk about, mister? The the deception that we call life. Yeah. How how are we deceived? What what is the deception? Okay. Explaining how I see it to you will only go so far, but I will attempt it by saying this. My reality is whatever I choose my reality to be. I can interpret whatever I want however I want to. And does that help? Sure, knowing that, being aware of it when shit happens, that's the hard part. Mm. To really understand and hold on to the truth that you're responsible for how you see what you see. It's not the thing happening, it's how you take the thing happening that you see, or you think you see. That but, is incredibly vague, I have to say. Okay. I'll give you an example. If somebody says Federal Reserve note to you... You hear one thing. If somebody says Federal Reserve to a cashier in a store that uses Federal Reserve notes, they will tell you, I don't take Federal Reserve notes. I want money. 
Oops. You have said this to me yourself. Mm -hmm. I've witnessed it in my life. People don't know the truth about nothing. And the truth doesn't matter if you know it or not, because when you use it, you sound like a lunatic. You know what? <clears throat> that, yeah. They, and it can apply on in the other extreme, too. And uh, I wish Hawk was here, Gooberzilla. We'll have to tell him when to tune in to this to listen. Now, <laughs> he's he's wrapping himself up in these space blankets and uh, microwave uh, pita pocket things. I, I don't know. Maybe he's got him a suit of armor made up. But he's trying to shield himself from the uh, smart meters and 5G and whatever else, you know, uh, Wi-Fi and whatever else. That we are in a world polluted with uh, frequencies. Uh, everything that surrounds us is, is counter to our proper vibrational frequency. So there's right. no wonder we're all screwed up. And uh, and as as anti says, what did he say? Something about he's not as smart. Yeah, oh, he said, I used to be smart. That's the way I feel, too. It's like, wow. But listen, Goober, get that stuff off you, man. You have to shield it. You're wrapping yourself up, and you're going to be cooked like a hot pocket. That's crazy. Vinny has spoken. Uh, I don't have anything to say about all that. Me and old Goober don't click, so I just leave him be. Well, I mean, you would be concerned for uh, the other human's well-being, right? Would you want to tell him that? Don't cook yourself like a hot pocket. I'm I'm stuck on being concerned that he wants to build a spaceship and escape. No, he so, he can't oh, okay. really build one. He doesn't expect it. He I'm, thinks that some collective should be able to build it. But what would what you I'm, do if you got one? What are you going to do with it? That's the point. How can you be so out there and come on, be taken seriously? Uh, he's kidding around. I don't. If I want to joke around, I'll do the dork table. I won't do it on the RLM chat. No, he's, uh, he's serious, dude. Well, I'm not. So, mm. but well, what I do. Um, you can't you can't tell people what to do, Vinny. They don't listen. You can only show them what you do. And if he would ever come out here to uh, Denmark, be happy to show him what I do. Do do. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's peaceful, quiet. Get to heal from all your battles. <laughs> I'm laughing at Grimner. <laughs> Wait, hey, I. <laughs> I have to go over here to Facebook here. I did make sure I quote this properly. And I, I think I this uh, really uh, applies. Oh, I got tagged and I didn't say hello. Uh, I got to scroll down. But, you know, in the meantime, as I'm scrolling, it's your job as a human being to stand between evil and the innocent. Right. Yeah. Well, what if... Isn't any physical evil around you? What do you make some up and throw it and see who grabs it? I can only tell you this. You are what you do and not what you say you'll do. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. That's a quote from uh, artist Bill Anton. Very good quote. You can uh, I, type I, quote in the chat over there and it'll give you that because I added that to the, to the quotes. How about that? How, how about, uh, here's another one. This is from Brian Hyde. Reassessing success and how do you measure wealth. And he said oh. that uh, I guess it depends on what you're using your time, energy, and efforts to pursue. Hmm. I like Brian. Yeah, but things things aren't that black in uh, our daily life, you know, what we call reality. It's all skewed with a lot of just loads and loads of bullshit. Yeah, it's completely piled full. Where do you start? What haven't we exposed or talked about on the dork table over the years? We're just entertaining the freedom-centered mind. Have you and, exposed you know, yourself? Sure. <laughs> Want me to put my pants back on? <laughs> if you please, sir. Hey. Oh, this is uh, not the No Pants radio show today. <laughs> Mm, Dark Cakes is going to lay down and listen to us banter about nonsensical shit. Should I uh, sing him a lullaby? 
No, please don't, Vinny. I, I'm on here, too. Anyway, but what you were saying, we live in a load of bullshit. We all seem to agree with that. The problem is the people that don't, they see the bullshit we live in, but they blame it on the victim instead of the government that's responsible for it. Yeah, that's what I've had a big uh, uh, ordeal to do with. Save them from the problem the government initiated to save them from. So, of course, the government will save you. Are people talking something in here? I don't know. I'm I muted so you can respond. I, can, I can't keep up. I don't know. <laughs> it's Everybody has their own idea of what, what is, is, as Bill would say. I should have cleaned my glasses. Hey, it's uh, this distorting hey, my perspective. What? what you know? What time to do though. What? It's February. You know what we're doing on the RealLibertyMedia.com dot com in February? Uh, yeah, we have our uh, annual fundraiser. Fundraiser. We raise fun and funds. Yeah, raise fun. That way, Grim doesn't get a razor and take it from us. Ooh, yeah, but that's what an anarchist would do, isn't it, Vinny? The cutting edge. Wait, now that's what the politicians do. But they don't use a knife. They get guns. But listen, they promise to give you things, though. Like what? Do they give you a reach round and a kiss on the neck? No, that'd be love. Oh, well, do they just, like, stuff it in their box all or what? Yeah. What are you saying? It's not pretty, I'm not going to say. <laughs> Does the cash enhanced person <laughs> enhanced <laughs> are you being yeah. funny you're welcome yeah. do they get butt raped just as badly as the cash non enhanced person enhanced <laughs> person <laughs> I don't know. I, it's just so scary it's based on bullshit if they knew the truth they wouldn't want it how could you want America if you knew what America was really about? I want America for what America is supposed to be. It's been well, co-opted. Oh, yeah. Prima, Captain. Well, you know, it's it's not all bad. There's still a little good left, and, and I guess you can enjoy what you do have. I mean, it wouldn't do any good to just uh, throw it all out with the bathwater, right? I don't know. It's, it seems with all the intrusion into science that we get told one thing and they're probably doing something else because the results are so catastrophic. Whatever happens, happens to yep. the extreme. Doesn't matter what it is. Heat Big. down south, extreme. Cold up in the north, extreme. Well, whatever they're telling you they're doing, they're doing something else. And whatever they tell you they're going to do, they've already been doing it. That's what I can tell you about that. Right. How many times have I said, hey, Bill Clinton apologized to the public in the 90s for experimenting on them without their consent or knowledge? Nobody gives a flying fuck about stuff like that. They don't even believe it. They would just take the you know, the, the uh, apology as, ah, he's just reading the paper. You know, that didn't happen. Trying to get around this mic here. Okay. So that well, seemed, you, that okay. seemed to have worked. Yeah. Okay. Smoking uh, mic, I'm sorry. You can do what you can live with. I can live with it. Here at the dork table, we're pretty, um, well, we're like liberal with marijuana. But you know what? We're conservative about what? Lying. If you lie at the dork table, I give you demerits. And I call you bad names when you're not around. You know, I never lie on radio. Yep, I know. I'm always sitting. I know. You are the. It's disgusting. You're the most honest person I know. Because at the, any given moment, you're liable to say any fucking whatever's on your mind is what you say. Talk about Mary says I don't have a clutch. No, uh, you had to look in Vinny's head for a day or two, Miss No Clutch. There's lots of room in here. I know. Well, see, but then I I know you from a different perspective because all the time spent you know talking about all this shit, and uh, people have the some people don't have the ability to impress what they say with anything to back it up. It's either you believe them or you don't. 
So the only thing that I have to work on are your words. And your words match your deeds. There you go. That, yeah, you, you are what you do, not what you say you'll do. And you're not what other people say you are. So like uh, trying to, uh, well, this long ordeal over here on Twitter, you know, oh, you claim to be a journalist. You know what I, I claim to be as, as a witness. So all these other things that I do, there's no degree of, uh, of measure. There's no qualification. Uh, you know, you might say uh, one is better than another as far as journalism or uh, broadcasting or any number of, you know, writing, um, uh, being better able to express yourself. But uh, the honesty part is is not trying to be right and to seek that, you know, uh, defeating the uh, the person that you may be engaged in conversation, but to seek uh, honesty and truth. And there's certain procedures going about that. And so when you become illogical, in, uh, in your pursuit of uh, victory, and, and it just goes for a se- more separation instead of trying to have a, a, and sorry for the word consensus here, how to, yeah, to to have a, at least to have a common understanding and, and a view at, uh, at the topic. But wouldn't you say that the public has been, like, nourished into a state of accepting the bizarre as normal today? Absolutely, yeah. And even cheer for it, the horrid, horridness of, uh, you know, we got people calling for kill them, you know, on both sides. And Whether it be the eco-terrorist of the left, the terrorist stomps, or uh, on the right, you know, people uh, seeking to escape the uh, destructive life that's been imposed upon them by uh, mainly by America's regime uh, enforcement in other parts of the world. Uh, order out chaos. Order out of chaos. I think not. Uh, you, it breeds more uh, chaos. So then you got people like Little Dog trying to uh, set traps and kill um, people trying to cross the border. It's crazy. Right. Well, it, I've been reading the chat while you were on rant, which I don't usually do. And it seems that Frumpy and this girl are having quite the. Uh, Having quite the moment over a, um, a hockey game, I would assume. Oh, really? I took my glasses off. Well, apparently, according to Moose, her son doesn't think of us as being his mom's real friends because it's electronic. Oh yeah. There's something more. Uh, there's something more to this than you, you can't explain it. If people don't have it, then they they don't get it. <clears throat> I've met a lot of people online. That I know in person Me over too. About seven years. Considering where I live and how isolated I am, yeah, we've had uh, four people from three different three different countries come here. Well, I've driven within miles, driven past, riding on the back of a old gray dog, right past Grimner and right past Moosey and uh, many others. Pretty close exactly. to Chloe over. Uh, Kentucky, yeah. but I did actually, you know, really go around the country. Mm-hmm. Not to mention people I know in real life, but people that you know online that I've actually met too, just in the travels. Uh, have, well, have you ever taken Mary's medical? Uh, what do you call it? Me, uh, not medical, but uh, uh, alternate to medical advice. I guess you would say if you want something be, that's uh, natural. Yeah. I would ask Miss Mary, and she would say, "Oh, try this oil or try that oil." I'm looking at and, some oil right in front of me. Some, uh, yeah. Whatever I asked her, no matter what it was, if she didn't know, she, oh, I'm not sure. Let me look all that up, and I'll get back to you. But all the advice that I got that I took worked exactly the way she said it should have. And she'll tell you, "Don't hold me accountable. This is what this says to, to might not work on you." She'll tell you that up front. You may be the one in a hundred that doesn't help. So there's no, you know, guarantee, but at least you get something besides go see a doctor. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't go see doctors. Oh, football game. Okay, I thought football season was over. What am I? Oh, it's the they got the, the Super Bowl. What do they got? The, 
I gave up all the football shit. There's a Pro Bowl probably still. Pro Bowl. Pro Pro Bowl. Bowl. Pro Bowl. I don't know. It's just a, to me, the United's crap is just a bunch of hoopla. It doesn't matter what it is. I gave up going to concerts long, long ago, like in 1980. I think 88 was the last one I went to willingly. And any concert I went to after that was because somebody had insisted I go. And that was like twice it happened, pretty pretty minimal. I'm trying to remember the last concert I went to. I think it was uh, in the, the parking lot of the Grateful Dead back in, uh, what year was that? <laughs> And back in Vegas, this year Jerry Dar- uh, Garcia died. Oh, uh, no, United I was in Vegas, and then they went on to California and up the West Coast. And I, I don't remember if they did their Seattle tour or he died there about that time. So whatever year that was. What was that? I don't remember. 90? Well, I went in 88. I'm pretty sure it was 88. might have been 89. Let's look but that up. I went in the dead at the uh, Oakland Coliseum. And... That was it. I just said, nah, this is enough. I don't want to do this anymore. Stopped. And then two other times along, you know, the road to where I'm at now, other people, eh, come to this show. Okay. You know, grumble, grumble, grumble. So Jerry Garcia died August the 9th of 1995. And, uh, I don't know sure. if, where he's, if he is from North Forest Knowles, California, or he died there. Ah, he's probably working at a 7-Eleven in Arkansas. Soft. <laughs> the night shift, you know, living low. What? This here says Wikipedia that he jumped to death. Jumped what? Yeah, on August 9th, 1995, 4.23 a.m., eight days after his 53rd birthday. Oh, it, no, it said... He was found dead in his room. I don't yeah. know. Stupid See, Wikipedia. I don't believe half what I read any damn way because all in the end proves it's a bunch of shit. You can watch it on TV and they'll still tell you, oh, this happened and that happened and you saw what happened. But the story will try to lead you down a different way to see it. Well, this is uh, 2015, August uh, before then. Uh, when he was in Vegas, that's when I uh, found the the rock people that uh, you know the rock art I do. So yeah, yeah. So deadheads yeah. dosed me and my brother out the lake. I brought a truckload of firewood and uh, built a big bonfire, and the people came and yeah. So I was like tripping good, man. Started stacking rocks up and making these bigger uh, um, rock statues. Ah, uh, the my local friend that has rock store here. I think a week ago I ran into him in town and he said he was going to Tucson the, probably the next day or that day. But uh, what happened was I was going to tell him about Vinny or Vinny, tell him about Woody in uh, Tucson because that's where he's going, Tucson, and Woody's a, a rock hound. But the same day, Woody was writing about his eye giving him trouble. <laughs> so I thought, well, tell him my friend ain't going to change. Well, Woody might not be. Um, in a situation to meet somebody, but I saw he'd met with Don Don C a couple months ago, or maybe a month ago, because we run into each other in person, some of us. Yeah, hey, Moosey, you don't know what the, the parking lot party's about? <laughs> oh, man, On the Grateful you. Dead? Yeah, people, deadheads would follow <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, and yeah. some people would sit, like, out front, and they would, like, sit there and oh and wish a ticket and somebody would come by and just like boom yeah, yeah. I seen girls with sign got any LSD okay did you get I dosed was, Moosey when you no, was in the I, audience if you're up there they'd use the squirt guns and dose people right <laughs> but she's been well a couple of times 94 and 95 that's cool. I was I heard them in the parking lot. That's where the party goes on. And that's the first time I heard the term fat chick. Mm-hmm. You know what fat is, right? P H A T. Yes. Yeah. What about well, I've heard Udia. Sprash in their sport. Let's Udia into the chat. Urban dictionary. Mm-hmm. Pretty hot and tempting right there. Oh yeah. Music. Oh, you were going with the chat. I yeah. see. 
I put my glasses on. Okay, Frump says Woody is a, an everything hound, but he has a, a thing for stones. And I know a guy in town here that has a shop that he makes jewelry out of stones and whatnot. And he goes to Tucson once a year to go do some kind of rock hounding. And oh, now that Vinny's been there, it makes me think of Vinny. Hmm. Or Vinny. Woody. <laughs> Woody. Woody. Oh, no. I'm high. It's, all, it's your fault, Vinny. You made me stoned. Ah, see, Boosie does know what it's all about, getting miracled. That's what it was. I didn't remember. Now she says that I remember that. Now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's right. Far back, ghost at the dead and Dylan. Right on. But I wanted to remember it, too, because I, I had decided that was the last time I was going to do anything like that. The crowd yeah. was too big. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, I started to get weaned off of the large crowd in the end of the 80s. They started to look ominous. People were getting squashed at concerts, and it was coming up that way. Yeah. It happened to the Who, and then it happened to uh, Metallica. Yeah, it happened to a couple of bands, and I went, nah, this is, nah, it's not what I want. So music and me decided not to, you know, I wasn't going to pursue music anyhow. So if I said to you, play me a song, you're a piano man. What would, what, you about say? what would you say? I'd say, stop singing to me, faggot. What if I said, uh, <laughs> what if I sang you a song out of tune? Oh, <laughs> now you're good. You're going to sing to me on the door. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell my wife on you, Vincent. <laughs> tell her. She'll be on my side. Wake her up. Yeah. Wake her up. Circle. Her sleep. <laughs> Yelling at the She can't. She can only, she's probably sleeping through it. It'll echo right through your uh, headphones and into your ears and out your nose. Even Hannah's playing at her feet, and the two of them are just still, so I think they're sleeping. Or she's playing possum on me right now, so I can (laughs) much. Possum. Well, yeah, because when she talks to me, when I do radio, I get distracted. (laughs) Yeah. Does I she, does she know? Do they have possums over there? Does she know what, I don't. Know. Does she know what that phrase means? Playing possum. No, I, she's asleep. What do you want to wake her up and yeah, say? Hey, you know, possum. Are you playing a possum play. on me, girl? Ain't <laughs> <laughs> it? Are you crazy? I wonder what it would take, though. Hey, look, Rome's has been to San Francisco. I, I bobtailed up and down the the streets of San Francisco in my uh, when I was driving a truck. One I dude, he says, "Hey man, can you pull me up the hill?" I said, "Jump on the runner board." So those are <sighs> steep hills in San Francisco. I, I know. I lived there on and off for three years. Hmm. I moved out a couple of times to go do some um, parental visitations. Yeah. My parentals lived in England, so I had a long freaking I had to go travel a long way and all that. Long periods of time. Killed the relationship, so. But it was worth it. <laughs> I have, I've had more fun than most people I've ever known. Right. All put together. I know. And, well, if you, you're one of the few that kind of, you not only keep up, but you're still doing it. I quit. I have a retired traveling. I'm yeah, I'm I'm ready for a vacation and stay at home here for a while. I, I really hope the road doesn't call call me back out. But if it does I um I have to uh heed the call, right? Well are you gonna do a, a garden this year like you were yeah, saying? That's what I it'll probably I'll get it started and then boom I'll have to go, right? Hey, you know what else is thinking about doing a garden? Who? That Grim Nerfell. Oh, yeah, yeah. His first yeah. Uh, outside garden in New Mexico. So when, see, when Miss Mary went all freaking Farmer Mary on us, we got the farmer bug. All the RLMers went, hey, I want to grow me some vegetables. Let's right. see how to, yeah. You know what I want to do? The cheat, cheat, uh, a cheatest way, cheat, cheatingest way is uh, get potting soil in the bags and uh, use tires and just fill them up. Right there. Uh, that way you got some nutrients and I got a question. Iron though. Go ahead. When you the roots hit the petroleum based tire, does that 
make the root toxic. Yeah, I think that probably is pretty well embedded and doesn't leach out very well. Okay. Well, I was just curious because whatever the roots touch is what nourishes them, and if it's uh, petroleum, it's going to fuck them up. Yeah, I don't know if it would or not. Um, I probably yeah. consume too many toxins in my life. A little rubber ain't going to, you know, when, uh-huh. rubber, when the rubber hits the road, it's uh, really it's going to be my That's what I think about. Life's so cheap because of comments like that. Instead yeah. of uh, being concerned about an answer, we'll settle for less than because we tolerated it this far. Right. It was a bit more poison now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, go with what you got. And work from okay. There. Try to better it the next. I guess I could line it with clay and bake it and boil it. And, I don't know. What do you do with it? What do you do? Well, I'm just, don't defeat your purpose of growing your, your own food and fuck it all up by the roots getting poisoned by petroleum. Yeah, I don't if, think it will suck it enough out of there. Really, I don't. That stuff's in bed. And it's, the roots are in there, and they're drawing out of the uh, um, that potting soil you put in there. And it's not yeah, going to fill up the whole container and go over there and start growing into the tire. It's just like a containment you know, field. can find out, so. Yeah, but I probably would I never notice. The weirdest, the weirdest, bizarre stuff comes to my mind. Yeah. Well, I'm very, uh, I am against oil. And as much as I can be, I take it to an extreme on the cars. And I'm one to follow or circle around and shut the lights out. Well, I burn it if you don't need to. But then it's dark and, you know, you got to have light on. So. You should get Try a clapper. to get yeah, I get my Jew bone. Now nah, the the dog barks, and I'm like, nah, clapper. It's Who fun. Needs, I'm not that old, am I? Am I old enough to require a? Well, I've got a chair I can pee in and a clapper. That might be like heaven. You might be on there. But just sit here and what a world we're in. Because everybody wants instant everything. Oh, you know, if you got now, for it. Hmm. I'll give you an example. Because I, I, okay, I'll try to. Uh-huh. I'll give you. Well, I fell into my own trap of mm-hmm. my mental walk to the grocery because the wind, the weather got the better of me tonight. And my usual mind says, "See, these poor fuckers got cars and they're struggling to get where they're going. Let them go." And then when that wind chill comes <laughs> and the temperature drops down below thirty. <laughs> And I'm from L.A., so this is a little chilly. And then I'm standing there waiting for these fucking cars to pass because these poor people have a lug of car. <laughs> but I was chilly, so I, I lost my mind for like five seconds. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, they're they're the really ones that are stuck. They got all the problems that come with cars. And I'm walking. I'm going to get warm in a few minutes. Long after I'm done complaining about, oh, I was so cold. Well, they'll still have to fuck with a car. <laughs> but that's not how the driver sees it, because people that drive need to travel long distances. I gave a guy money for a motel room in the Amarillo in a snowstorm one time. Well, why do you bring it up? Well, it's cold sometimes, and... Man, sometimes a person ain't got a way to get out of it without help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a really incredible luck for picking the right time of the weather cycle to be on the road for the most part of it. Very few times did I ever get stuck hitchhiking through a storm or anything like that. But it did happen occasionally, which is not as a constant. It was more sunshine and you know windows down and having a good time. Yeah, let me go but, back to the uh, chat over here on the the taters that yeah. got. Uh, and, and why I would need to grow in container here is this is uh, there's no dirt here on top of the mountain. It's uh, I mean thin, so I mean it's not something that uh, you can just dig up the ground here and plant in. It's clay, and uh, then you get your rock layer after are, layer. Are there cheap additives you could add to the existing land? I could I could buy. Right. Yeah, I could buy a uh, dump truck load of uh, river dirt, 
forget how many yards is uh, in that. Six yards, maybe? Eight yards? I don't remember. I don't know how much a yard is in dirt. So a yard. Have... It's a pretty big. I mean, you could grow, you could uh, spread that out and grow your garden in it. Well, what, what, okay, what does something like that require financially? $240 is what I hear. Really? Yeah. And does it, for what you're going to get in the long run, it didn't sound like much of an investment. You'd spend it on gas and shit at the store. Yeah, well, I was going to say I don't spend money on gas, but I do, uh, I guess. I give people money for gas. Yeah, you give them money for, for rides when you need them. Yeah. I, shit, I would. But luckily for me, I don't have to. Well. If I, I ever change my mind, though, I've got the freedom to go to Copenhagen all I like. I just really tired of the city. Yeah. I've been away from the city so long now and I don't even want to see it anymore unless I have to. It would be more like a uh, like a punishment than a pleasure. Yeah, it doesn't even excite me to go to town. I like it in the country. But what? I also like to go uh uh have the, what, have the road trips too. Yeah, well you ain't burned out on the road trips yet. But I'm a few years older than you still. So that might if there's anything relative about age, because sometimes age sets a mindset that you've been brought up to believe. You know what I'm getting at or not, Vince? It or changes. You just... Yeah, you're, yeah, the way you look at things and the way you want to proceed definitely changes with uh, your uh, age and uh, ability and so forth. We seem similarly capable being five years apart, there's really no difference except the number of years. Right. Well, you've been doing this for a long time. and uh, like You know, just like me right now, I want to be comfortable and not have to go back out on the road. Uh, it's unfortunate for me, though, that uh, I'm uh, obligated to do so. Should How do you mean? Yeah, it's, I just feel like it's a calling oh, it's in a minute. To go yeah. Back to yeah, or you to, yeah, it's being witness. It was... I'm here myself. I'm here myself. Well, that was a that was a big commitment to make. That was like getting married to me. I mean, when you give somebody your promise, your word, whatever you promise you're going to do something for them, you keep your word. And if they change their mind and free you from your promise, that's different. Yeah. And yeah. people get upset yeah. with each other when they do it because they're not taught how to do it properly or how to receive it properly. They're always all bummed out. Ah, I got dumped by my girlfriend. And me, I never got bummed. I just went to on to see where life was going to go. You could make a country song out of that one, couldn't you? Probably. I got dumped by my girlfriend. Well, come on. Everybody's been dumped in their life by somebody. Please. Nobody's perfect. Crying out loud. Except my wife, huh, honey? Because if I don't call her perfect, she'll be mad with me. <laughs> well, listen, we can all be perfect on Tuesday nights in a perfect world. It is Cirque No, she's She lets me tease her like this, and it doesn't bug her. She knows I'm teasing around on the radio. Because the truth of it is obvious. We could have been about five years living together, and we haven't killed each other yet. So... <laughs> Two aggravating short people in one house survive without murdering each other. <laughs> I like living by myself. Yeah, see, I, di I didn't. That was, I don't care for it. I'm not a solo kind of person to that extent. I did enough of it to know that. I did it. I proved I could. All right, next step. Now, we're trying to do the cohabitation dance with circle so far so good that's a good thing yeah well hey if you can't get along with your partner i mean what the fuck don't do it if you can't get along with yourself you can't get along with nobody else well sometimes it takes an outside person to point at you and say hey do you know what you just said what i just say i'm not using <laughs> at as uh -huh. an example, but I could use something in the past if you like. I was trying to avoid all that. Well, you may poke As, the eye. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but and I'll do it. I've done, but I've done it myself. Said something in anger that you meant at the moment, but you don't mean to do it. Like, 
I could knock the shit out of you. And at that moment, yeah, but you didn't, so you let it go. But the person that hurt is insulted because you threatened to beat on them. So all these things were, see, we're unindated in this crap with television and advertising and all these wrong ideas that we've been conditioned to take as absolutely fucking normal. You know, and we got to that. prove it. You know it's worse than that. Yeah, it's worse. No, you tell me what's worse it's, than that. If somebody tells you, I'll slap the piss out of you and slap you again for pissing, that's bad. Right? Uh, and your point? Well, sometimes you just can't win for losing. Well, that's, that's all a matter of how you look at it. Because if you're in a physical, violent confrontation with somebody, you want to be in it. That's part we're not taught. Well, what about... If you know how to live without it, you can. I've been doing it for years. What about if but somebody I, just, you don't have any, uh, you know, you didn't initiate it, and they come up and, like the government, and say, we want what you got, and you say, no, and then they like, I slap piss out of you and slap you again for pissing. Well, the population here is so small that they can't get away with treating people that badly and not pay for their um, behavior. So you think the problem here in America, maybe it's too many people and there should be a mass die-off? Would that help? Well, no. Actually, the problem isn't the amount of people as much as it's the compliance of the people that believe they, they're owed something through this government entity. You know, because the government sells you protection from the very things they encourage from Foreign people didn't. I don't think we get a good uh, return on our investment. Well, you're getting what the politicians are. You're getting the, exactly what their expectations were. They just tell you the public a lie. What else could you get out of bombing a country in a, a state of rubble besides people that have nowhere to live? Uh, no resources, no... no uh, they have a completely different ways of another country. Their culture is different. So you're going to throw these people at these American dippies that, you know, think they're special. And, and hey, I voted. Pot's legal. Ooh. Sounds like fun. Well, they've got some people con that there's some big great change because they legalized it in a few states. What they overlook is that all the lives ruined through this deception. With of that, hot prohibition. I must announce it is 4:20 over the Atlantic somewhere, and barman okay. passes out joints of Romulan Bud to the RLM peeps. Puff, puff, pass, baby. How about that? And, and let me say about the legalization of weed that the benefit that is seen from that is uh, it allows for the uh, black market to thrive uh, even more so, I think. Well, in a way, but see, part of the game is they're not going to arrest you for the smoking. They're going to arrest you for the amount you're holding. <clears throat> so now it's from one thing to another thing. It's still mm -hmm. the same game. Yeah, right. It's, so, it's different if you're looking at it from a distance and you're not in it. But if you're in it, they still got you wrapped and tied. You're, you're fucked. And you're going to court, so there's commerce involved. And this game gets worse. I was talking the other night. I've been listening to this guy the other day, and his name is Jerry Day. Yeah. Found him over on YouTube. Old links, not nothing new. But what a way to explain in an intelligent, wordy, eggy-headed way to the thick-skulled fucking voter out there that wants to hang on to Trump's balls for good luck. And then you have this straight lace looking guy telling you, this is really what's going on. <laughs> Quite the difference from, you know, Ooh. me doing it. And he's probably my age, give or take. But I don't know how old I sound. I, how do you judge a person's age by their voices beyond me? I could, I guess, tell a little kid, a teenager, an adult. But that would be the extent of it. You know, if you're over 50 or under 50 in, on the 
radio. I don't know how to judge something like that. When you start talking like an old man, it's kind of clear, ain't it? Well, it depends on your age. That's what you're going to hear is what you've been told you're being told. Do you sound any different now than 30 years ago? I would assume. Uh, my, oh, you mean the voice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I've been doing these crazy voice impressions for years, Johnny. It sounds all the same to me. I don't know. There's another one, Chloe. Oh, <coughs> Ooh, when on, I start, no, I stutter and stammer and look for words today, so I don't know. I don't blame you. So do you recognize an onslaught of dementia? No. Only in other people. I recognize other people's dementia, but I don't recognize any in myself. Oh, like I, brain I, I recognize different. it in myself. Well, that's because you're insane. It's really? not your fault. You're insane. I <laughs> Explain never... everything. Take the insanity plea, Vinny. I'm trying to help you. I thought I was crazy, and that's what kept me from going insane. That's been my philosophy for ever. Could be. I even could you... sing the song. Well, I give you a lot of shit because you're so outgoing on the radio, but you're pretty well rooted in, in what's real and what's not real. Just because you have a a character -y kind of a name thing going on doesn't make you wrong about anything you say. It just means you're a little strange about your name. Strange. You know, it, it goes back to Jose. And if if you said his name is Jose, it's like you said it wrong. I mean, yeah. that's, to me, is like uh, uh, the anti being against, you know, the slave name. It's like uh, the... Uh, black folks would, uh, whatever, Malcolm X, so they say, you know, change his name from a slave name. So, I mean, that, I'm not bound by a name, any any name or, or nor, nor any label that one would care to, to place. So. so that's your excessive use of, uh, I get it. It's rooted okay. in that, yeah. Well, you do it so much that it's just I'm used to it. So I never really about why it just happens now that you've told me why that makes, mm, that makes more sense but no it doesn't it's not uh it doesn't get its start from jose or jose i mean uh mm -hmm. yeah but no it's just that's one example right there so hey, hey, it's an expression of myself the different uh points of view point. and expression or uh, ideas I, or ideology do you want to use your newfound freedom to join my cult and become one of my minions? See, that's the thing, though. I'm not a joiner. Well, because the truth is I don't want anybody to join. My cult is just fine the way it is. I've got Cirque, Hannibal, and Dr. Lecter. And that's all I need. <laughs> and, and this chair. <laughs> and uh, the, Eric and the doctor. Okay. And the one that you can pee in, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of, Well, think about it. When you get old, look looking out for your future. Hmm. I'm being inventive like all these other billionaire motherfuckers with their great ideas. You know that I have read on the interwebs that there is going to be a market for sex robots. Robots. I mean, we finally have hit the bottom of the arena. We know what "holy fuck, we're finished" means. What does it mean? It mean they're raising a future generation of human carbon-based la life that is going to prefer masturbation with a machine over sex with a real living. Uh, partner. Forget the even the sex part, the relationship that that uh you know when you when you're with somebody it's uh you're intertwined then. You become one in so many ways. And then sex is just the uh is a, a also part of the linking. Right? Making uh, say the making love. It's just what, another when you, part of expressing that. But when you openly replace the partner with a machine Come on. There's nothing beyond. there. That's that's only the self gratification. The, okay. That's, yeah. okay. That's that's the problem with the world is people that they're 
um, their self as supreme. Right, because we're older, so we have a different value to human existence. Carbon-based life is more valuable when you're older than when you're young. Because when you're young, you're just repeating the shit people are telling you. You don't know anything yet. You just don't know it because you're young. When you're old, then you go, oh, fuck, when I was a kid, I was wrong about every damn thing. I had to change. And some people, they saddle for what they got as a child, and they grow up into that. And now we've got inoculations and axed pot. And all, you name it, it's so fucking ridiculous that it's hard to believe it happens. But here we sit, living proof that the majority doesn't know what, what they're doing. If these people knew the truth about what they're spending their hard-earned life acquiring, then they probably would give it a second thought about what they're getting for their effort because it's your your life. And they got us convinced, oh, well, we're paying you for your time. Okay, well, hmm. If they're paying me for my time, how come they always end up with a bigger cut than anybody else? And that goes to the fractional reserve banking practices of the Federal Reserve Bank. I can find people on the Internet that will give you both sides of the story. The banks are the best thing for you on planet Earth. Blah, blah. Hey, Vinny. Huh. Take over. I'm going to let my dog out. She wants to go out pee or bark. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Hurry back. Hi, Hannah. Let's go over to the Royal Liberty Media. I got three new posts here on the uh, Twitter, and I bet they're about dorktacular things. There it is. There it sure is. is. See three new tweets. Grammy, we've got Grammys, Rocket Chair podcast blog, reallibertymedia.com. dot com. Thank you, Barman. Thank you, Gramsci. And we are now live. The dark table. Yeah. Uh, Who's base are morons? Who Who's what? Him? Who did what? Writes his base are morons. Who is his? Oh, Trump, the mighty Trump. Trump. Yes, the mighty Trump. Oh no 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 no! He's he's the savior of the no of the people. He's going to reunite you, pull you out of war, dust you off. Powder your little butt, build a wall, and make you happy. Right? Should I feel lucky? I think you should feel exceptional. Oh, yeah, I could go on a rant about that. Who's this guy? That's who's Pelosi, that? and that's the, uh, what's her name, Ortiz gal. And who's the oh, guy yeah. Her, uh, that's a Trump, oh. yeah, that's our Trump fan posting that. I'm not going to open. I never open his stuff. That would. I'm afraid of viruses. Oh, it's a twig. Twing. I Twim. How do you say that? He got Chloe excited. You Republicans and your me. <laughs> it's all it takes to, you know, never mind the truth about all this shit. Let's pay attention to the memes because that's where all the action's at. Not in the policy. Not, not in the reality of it, any of this crap. It's always about, oh, you're making fun of my guy. Oh boy. Who, who's the uh, who's the guy in that the picture? In that picture. Hmm. In that twig. Oh, we finally know when our Milky Way Twitter. will crash into the uh, Andromeda galaxy. Oh, Should we be worried now? I I don't give a flying fuck. It's all a bunch of crap to me. I've been here, and this is the end of the life for since I was like ten, maybe eleven, was where you, I knew hey, they're telling me the planet's going to end. What the fuck? Was you afraid? What, no. What? What of? Was you afraid then when mm -hmm. you first heard it? No. You didn't get scared. No. -uh. Why not? Well, because well, I kind of learned early that grown ups are full of shit, so I didn't really believe much what they said. Did you ever believe in Santa Claus? No. Never? Well, I, not that I have a uh, cognitive memory of. The Tooth Fairy? My, we had, no, my mom was wow. a Jew. 
father was a so Catholic. So you didn't get any money for your teeth. I see where this begins. Tell me Stop. more. Tell me more. Neither, neither one of them uh, practiced their organized religious belief in the house and to influence me and my brother. We were left to choose whatever we wanted to do. So they didn't give us all that crap. And yeah, when a teeth fell out, there was money under the thing and whatnot. Played all those games. But to believe, nah, as soon as we were old enough, the old man go, that's just a bunch of shit. Whenever the old man said, whatever we're paying attention to, that's a bunch of shit, that's what it meant. There was no, what does that mean, Dad? He made that freaking clear at, at a very early age. So by the time I saw the moon unit, I was like, Nine or ten. When must have been coming up on ten? It's like a month before I turned ten. So right about nine, you start to uh, develop emotionally where you can really understand between fantasy and something that's real. That's what I believe. There's a song about that, too, I think. Well, there might be a song. There might even be scientific idiots out there that back up that same you know, idea. I believe but, more of what songs say than the, what I believe uh, so-called <laughs> experts have to say. <laughs> Just saying. Wow. Well, you make a good point, too. But I, I'm trying to go off the way I, I recognize what I feel is my memory, not what other people tell me to believe. Song about that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Just saying. <laughs> I thought you had writer's block. What's da, going da, on? Da, 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 da. Hey, you could write a, a what do you call it? I don't have writer's a, block. Uh, an opera. Yeah. And I got a cat and a dog barking and crying at the same time. Handle the show. I'll be back in two minutes. Yeah. I've, Thanks. Okay. What do we got? Let's read this here. Uh, this quote. End of the world. Now the end of the world is a, an abstraction because it's, it has never happened. It has no existence in the real world. It will cease to be an abstraction only when it happens, if it happens. I do not claim to know God's mind on the subject nor possess any scientific knowledge about a still non-existent future. I see only a mental image and its emotional ramifications as such i love and love and nothing else is all i need trampled by turtles thank you grimner and the turtles that had been trampled or the trampled or the trampolese and <laughs> lots more lots more all right there's the Freakers Paul uh Freakers Ball podcast up. Check that at the Barman R L M status on the Twitter sphere. So what are we talking about? I think I hear a flash. Oh yeah, that's right. Talking about uh, the lip tards in the what what do you call the uh, right wings? Uh rib tards? I don't know. It's not funny, no matter how you poke them. Oh, they're just, just in time. Hey, you. Hey. Uh, boy, yeah, I'm back from my quest. That's fast, though. These uh, animals, yours, uh, they move in uh, you know, pretty fast when you're ready to do it, right? How do you mean? Well, it's like, hey, I got to go outside. And the cats, you know, usually cats, they'll say, ah, oh, like, ah, just playing with you, man. And walk back and forth and then rub your leg. And it's like, they look outside. Not Dr. Cooper. He's a very serious cat. Yeah? yeah? He cries for out. He cries for food. And he cries for uh, milk. What would you call him? Dr. what? His name is Dr. Cooper. Yeah, Dr. Cooper. Sheldon Cooper. Yep. I named him after that goofy geek show on TV. Yeah. I like the name. But, yeah, he's a one-of-a-kind cat. He, he cried. Does there's a reason for it. doesn't sit there and cry for no fucking reason, and he's an older male cat, so he's come home beat up. And one time I think pot he got hit by a car or something. 
poor Cirque was all freaked out. She had to go to work and all this. I said, the cat will either croak or he will heal. That's what nature does. And because uh, I'm not all about veterinarians and all that kind of shit, even through trauma, unless it was, there would have been blood, and it would have been different. But uh, yeah. And then life took the cat where he goes. He walks on all four legs, and he's got a tail. So where kind was of, he? Was alive oh. when you got there? Did you find him, or oh. he come to you? He he came from right. Came with the house. I remember yeah. now. I'm trying to remember the story. Tell me the story. Well, we when we looked at the house, the woman that lived here. Uh-huh. Had a cat. I remember. Yeah, but tell it for those that don't. They moved her to another place because she was uh, at the point she couldn't maintain herself anymore. She needed care, and the they, they said, um, the cat went with her, but the cat came back to the house. So Cirque talked to her, and the woman said, "Well, can we keep the cat?" We said, "Sure," because that's kind of hardcore um, haters. Me and Cirque are. Is the ha- house came with a cat already, so we just kept the cat instead of having it destroyed or whatever. That's why you don't. You can never own a cat. No, this cat he he's not owned. He right. comes and he pleases, right. but. It kind of showed me how Cirque was right from the beginning. And then when we had the cat already, then she wanted to get Hannah. And I thought, well, it let Cirque find a dog that suits, that suits, uh, 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 suits Cirque. So I did. And she found Hannah and they've been, we've had her for four years come, I have four, over four years now. We got her in like December, four years ago. I, uh, I, uh, what, what animal, what would, animal you, would you, um, uh, relate, you, relate, relate yourself relate. to? I, I'd say I'm a dat cog. That's what, uh, that's, that's my, that's how I'd say. So are you what? more like a cat or a dog? Oh, more like a cat. You're yeah. like a cat? Yeah. You know what a, uh, dat cog is? Uh, no, but I was gonna hope you'd explain it to me. Well, a is that cat a- would be like, uh, a dog and a cat, and then a, a cog would be like a uh, a cat and a dog. So a cat cog. Yeah. Makes what? Sense. Well, yeah, but I would still figure you to be a dog more than cat. Why? The way I see you, because you're outgoing or and uh, than me. But uh, I'm also not owned, and I'm a roamer, so that's like a cat. Yeah, but there's dogs that can pull that off. They managed to... Well, no, they live wild. They're kind of scary looking. Probably get confused for a coyote. Yeah, you see dogs that uh, go feral. Uh, You'll see a lot like down in Mexico. The feral dogs, they they all have a kind of a... Well, you're a big dog lover, right? I like dogs. Yeah, but you're a big dog lover, right? Sure, I do. Yeah, I mean, it's not like... I have yeah, you're dog. Okay. I got a an eye question. Eye contact to an animal is usually uh, it's a threat. You're dominating somehow. But when you're talking about your pet, you know that eye contact thing is different. And you can really sit there and look right in their freaking eyes and they don't get all emotional and try to bite you or nothing. Do people try to bite you if you look in their eyes? Yeah, some people are very negative about eye contact. They freak out. Look me into the eyes. I don't have any any fucking problem with you. You're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. I've seen a guy write on the chat once about when you pass those black guys in the street, don't make eye contact. I thought, you pussy, come on. Just another guy. You're just afraid. Afraid of the world. And that's what people live on is their, your fear of the world fuels them. And they get all freaking juicy. And they get their mayonnaise jar out and their rag and they start going all crazy. What do you do with mayonnaise what? and a rag? What? I don't know. I'm just assuming. <laughs> is mayonnaise a good uh, like polish or something? I don't know. We got Jay Dredd trying to give Chloe grief about some Republican Democrat standoff. Really? Argument. Garbage. I try. Can't, I can't exactly keep up there and listen. So I'm back and forth between. I glasses know. On, glasses off. 
your United States of America, people. And it's not. It's a big fraud. And you can't see the fraud because you're in the United States of America, people. You need to get out of it. Take a real healthy look at this mess and go, holy shit, how did we get here? How did people don't. Well, according you, to Judge Dredd, it's for Dems blackface rape, blackface, again, unicorn farts, and rainbow right. trolls is a climate proposed rape against uh, binders to face something else, I guess. Who knows? Are you are you good with it, or are you bad with it? I didn't understand too much of that. Hmm. Chloe says in dogs, eye contact is a sign of intelligence. Because me and Hannah will we have some, we play rough, but sometimes she just lays her and she's all docile. She's got these big brown eyes, and you kind of go, wow, she's got cool eyes. My friend uh, Peppy, he was like, well, he's still like bottom on the rung. They dogpile him. Uh, they're really tearing. It's good thing he's got thick hair. Uh, he's always been re- real timid and as far as approaching me, that now and he, you know, wouldn't look you in the eyes. But now he like comes up a little. Uh, but Vinny, come right up to my legs and then sit there and uh, look back up into my, into my eyes. Yeah. Or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Um, no. Oh, okay. I didn't know uh, I had parties. We, I never are, got an invitation. Was there? Was you, there dancing? It will I'm there be dancing? Can I get an invitation? I like dancing. Hey, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Uh oh. We've lost Vinny to the other side. I think he went Democrat. I'm gonna be a Republican in honor of Hans Dietrich. You're gonna what? I'm gonna support the Republicans. Have you I'm gone crazy? Polish. Yeah, I'm gonna polish the great big orange rump and everything. Get a red hat. Put it on my head, tell everybody, see my flag, fucker. Don't will you fuck will you be flag. eating oranges? No, I'd probably be eating Danish knuckles if I did that. These people would not like it because this is Denmark. They don't like Trump. No, they don't not like Trump, but they don't like his people intruding on their territory. Well, they change trying culture. They don't mind if you visit or if you participate. You're not going to build a, a an American embassy here, not where I live anymore. Really, they don't have an American embassy. Copenhagen, but not here. Jeez, hmm. what would they have one here for? I don't know. And then the one they got in Copenhagen is like it's pitiful. I think we'll we may it. have to call for an invasion of your locale, <laughs> Mister. <laughs> we'll have none of that. Am I a threat to national security? We'll have an embassy for your protection, or we'll kill you to get it. Really? Well, I know there's American uh, forces. I think they got a. Danish base they either share with or they keep Americans there, but it's a ways from here. Yeah, I don't. Close yeah, to what I you think, Mister? I haven't physically seen a fellow American in probably a year and change. I think it was no, well, no, maybe it was last summer. Hold on, let me dig through the memory. I think it might have been last summer or the year before it, because I remember running into somebody I went and I heard English. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm looking all around. I'm hearing two guys speaking English. And, you know, I've been hearing Danish for years. Like slapping me in the face. Went, hey, you're you're speaking English. And they said, yeah, we know. <laughs> Americans. <laughs> uh, not, they didn't catch the surprise, you know, because, well, you're speaking it too, idiot. What's the big deal? <laughs> Wow, this then, crazy stuff. You're talking like a crazy person here. I had two and a half years of, of Scots, and then I had... People, people are asking to uh, join Statist are going to state group on Facebook. I'm, state group? Yeah, it's a Facebook group. I'm not I'm not at it, nobody. It started out really small, and it's like huge now. I'm, yeah? Yeah, I'm oh, one of the persons that can click you in, I guess. What? Yeah, Good to you in the big groups. Oh, I don't even pay any attention to them. They just still come up in my uh, feed to notify me there that uh, things are happening and requesting uh, permission to be free. I laugh. <laughs> I thought you were all about Twitter. What happened? Did they I'm break ev- your heart? No, I'm everywhere, man. Oh, you, so you don't care? No. 
No. What about being shadow banned or ignored or whatever else? I they don't do? care either. I'm not going to waste my time on it. On what, I'm not worrying. Yeah, yeah, worrying or playing their their algorithm games or nothing like that. Yeah. Well, they're squeezing what little bit of reality there is left in the world. They're just making it more and more uh, obscure. Yeah, it's every <laughs> person's responsibility to uh, seek for themselves. Look at the shit they're teaching the kids. Yeah, that's your fault if you're sending your kid to be taught. How? How is it when it takes two people to survive and, and what used to take one person to support four people now takes three people to support four people? So, no, things aren't – they're bad. No, they're worse than bad. I'm already Expl in that group, Grimner. Well, that's – I'm in a, I don't know. I've been added to probably a thousand. I, I don't doubt. There's at least 500 groups. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. That's what I mean. Is it's too big to manage? Why do you exactly. bother them? I don't. That's why I just don't even care. Mm. Let it go. Yeah, my name's still there. Well, I still like Wacky Jerry over on BitChute, man. He's got some fun video links. Uh, he's entertaining with his explanation and he's really convinced the masons are behind all of wars mm -hmm. bankers all the beyond the bankers what's behind the bankers what pushes that agenda is this group that he calls the masons and he says he can prove it there's examples in this and look at that in this light and he's very good well, I've I've seen all that uh, those angles. Um, Ralph Epperson uh, really yep. set me on the yeah. road for uh, understanding. He he blames the Mason. There's goes in many different. Uh, there's many different names that this uh, thing that uh, is upon us has uh, gone by. Uh, yeah. What you know, if you you're you're a normal Mason's a good local guy that's uh, part of the community and. I'll be right back, sir. All right. Yes, okay. Shadow banning. And Chloe Googles. Uh, shadow banning is the act of blocking or partially blocking a user or their content from an online community uh, such that it will not be readily apparent to the user that they have been banned. Yeah, and I'll give you an example of that on a Facebook uh, post. If, uh, if I include a link, and especially... Uh, what that content would be, then uh, it's like very little response. Now, if I just post like a comment, um, then that that goes into more people's feed and they see it. So if I wanted to like uh, be sure to convey something, then I'd add in comment uh, what it is that uh, I'd want to pass on along if I wanted to be more successful about that. So that's just uh, part of the algorithm that... Uh, that is uh, indicative of social media. Um, there, it's much more complicated than that, and uh, certain people are, are singled out specifically, uh, especially you know the larger uh, uh, the audience that person might have, and uh, also specific content. No matter who it is that uh, would share it, is uh, has like would have like a flag attached to it, and you'll see. Um, like when you do post some link that would uh, be considered uh, conspiratorial or whatever, then uh, then they're in YouTube too. They're like sending you to a Wikipedia. So, uh, like sovereign citizen would be like an example. Um, so they attach uh, um, a negativity uh, enigma to a certain idea that uh, let's say on YouTube that they just uh, either demonetize, they take people's channels down for the, the content. Um, let's say if it was a flat earther, uh, that nobody went to the moon, these type of topics, uh, there's others uh, that, pe that are censored. So that's uh, shadow banning. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that, I figured you'd know a lot more about it than I would. Uh, that's what it is.
Well, right. The whole point is not the act; it's the threat of an act. Is that's what level we're on? The you don't threat, need to... that and the threat of an idea of the end of yeah. Hey, I gotta give you the mic. I'll be right back. Sorry. I would say you don't need to see too much physical proof today to be convinced of something that's complete bullshit. I saw the link. I know it's true. Well, I saw, hmm, I saw Bilbo outwit Gollum inside the mountain. Looked real to me, but I would bet you that really never happened. And that's not really a, a fair example, but that's how life truly seems to me. They tell you this, and behind your back, they're doing something completely different. But, you know, it's all a matter of how you interpret the information you get. We go back and forth. Me and Vinny have spoken about this, how we see it. Or, well, he sees it in his own light, but we basically agree about the deception. And it's based on commerce, hijacked by admiralty court and government, stuffed down your throat by religion and education. And then if you're unhappy with the society that you live in and you uh, get blamed for voting for it, then all of a sudden the guy telling you you voted for it, well, you got no right to complain is wrong. And that's how I see it. You wanted it this way. This is what you support. Me, I'm against all of it. I want none of it. But fortunately, I found a way to live outside of the loop so I'm not physically pounded, reminded every day that uh, I belong to this entity that's so two-faced and corrupt that it really doesn't deserve to exist, but it's got a lot of people under its influence, and they believe things are just not true. Can't explain it to them, can you, Vinny? Can't explain it. I can explain it this way about some people. You could say, you know what I hate about you? The two th- No, you know the two things I hate about you? And they say, what? And you say, your face. Wow. Yeah, what brought on? Oh, I was listening to what you said, and so I'm thinking two-faced, right? The two things I hate about you, your face. <laughs> you see. <laughs> I do think the government tells we the people the truth about anything. Absolutely. And if, Absolutely. Okay, and if they do, why does everything work so badly? It's meant to, and the second question is answered, and the first one is... And it's always out there somewhere. He's got to know how to see it. That's why it's important to understand how to traverse this world without getting trampled by turtles. Well, then, if the world was not based on lies and bullshit, there would be no need to do what you just... <laughs> but it is, so... Oh, alas, I am forlorn. What? You mean... I'm correct. They do lie to me. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a mental disorder. The uh, not believing in government is now like a mental disorder or somebody at least wrote it. So it got repeated and it was funny. Sure. But I wouldn't put it past these fucking lion thieves and government try to pull this on me. So I'm going to choose to not play with the Americans no more. Listen, I, I must ask you this. Why did you choose? Do it with your mouth closed, okay? Oh, yeah. Well, you don't like Is the broccoli stuck in my teeth again? Uh, yeah, I hate when that happens. Uh, 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 uh. Mm, yep. uh, yeah, Dread, why don't you go home and quit bothering us with crap? That was... Uh, do you ever feel bothered by some of that crap from the Republican side of the coin? Yeah, I, I kind of do. Because, you know, what I notice about Chloe, she doesn't post a lot of crap about her side of the game. She's got her side of the game. Yeah, she likes to kick uh, the yeah. uh, Trump balls, though. Yeah, well, she... Yeah. I, I really, I for the life of me, are if, you a person, if a person has actually looked at uh, the person this Trump guy is that just how could you say that he has anybody's interest 
but it's on. Uh, it, I don't know. I can't see it either. Uh, yeah. The show. He, he does uh, what, uh, yeah. what feels I might, for him. And I'm telling you, Trump is an attractive, as far as uh, look up at me, be like, I don't want to be like that. No. I always lines. make that stupid face when I think about what Trump would say. Or like, you know, the face, the stupid face he makes. Uh, well, how does he get away with the illegal shit he gets away with? Like that Trump University scam? He's the sitting president, and he's got a a case like that judged against him. And people think he's good in finance? He's a freaking thief. Yeah, that's what he does. That's the, uh... the lying sack of shit. Look at the smug look on that great big orange rump. Mergers and acquisitions, what they call it. Murders He's and assassinations. Really. Almost makes me a sick ass. I, I think I almost don't like Trump as much as I didn't like Obama. And you know who I didn't like? For Obama. Obama's uh, a likable guy, though. Like Bill Clinton's a likable guy. Uh, here, sir, are you a salesman or are you a cut? They have charm. They have charm about them. I don't <sighs> see any charm of, that uh, Trump has. I'm not uh, defending these guys. I'm just saying, uh, Obama, yeah, and and Bill Clinton. You know, he had a special gift of uh, remembering people in their name, and and any time he would see them again, like uh, their his supporters back way back into the early days of uh, his uh, uh, offices here that uh, uh, in Arkansas, Attorney General, and, and on to Governor, and uh, one of my kin. Ken folk, uh, I forget how far we related, but her husband died, and <laughs> uh, you know he, they were real big. They they built the rallies or whatever that is. You know they were big supporters. But he heard about it, knew about it, and you know sent his uh, condolences and called them up and or her up and so forth. So yeah, he's uh, quite a politician, and you know you can say a lot of bad things about their what they've done but as far as personality. Trump has none, I don't think. <laughs> well, how sad. I thought he had a personality. He's like an old Jewish grandma trying to wear a men's clothes. You know? <laughs> no, I don't like old faggy hands. He scares I wouldn't want to be alone in a room with him. I'd feel like he's uh you know uh, just greasy. He's got that greasy appearance to him, like a Catholic priest or a rabbi. You know that uncomfortable feeling you get around him? Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe you don't. I do. Ugh. Clergy of any race or religion just makes me cringe. Really? Oh, I uh, I met priests, and, uh, well, a priest and some uh, brothers, a uh, well, couple, three of them, and uh, let's see, so a bunch of nuns. I didn't get creeped out. I thought they were really cool. Well, they were great experience. A, I don't like religion utters. Can't handle it. I thought they were pretty neat. When, well, sometimes you worry me, but I understand the ability to see the wisdom in people's writing. What I do not have the ability to believe or see is the idea that some divine thing created that. You know, I think that's crazy right there. They created me, created everything else, so no, it's where, written by him. Where did everything Just come from? It had to come from somewhere. You have to have an outside source. Okay. If if indeed that matters to you while you're alive, to me what it does is it takes my mind off living and puts it on where I'm going to go after I croak, which no. I don't give a Then you missed anything. the point. That's not what, even a point. Besides, it, besides that, I, there be or not be uh, a, a mighty being, that there is implications that is, is self uh, instilled the knowing the conscious. That there is the inner uh, sanctum of the mind that tells people. Well, there are cases I think that are people are broken, and how they got broken is a, a different topic. But there is. Inside that voice that says uh, what is right and wrong, and uh, it, it means that uh, in pursuant to that you make choices, and it's a choice uh, that's made continually. All right, and am I free to make the choices I choose to make? Absolutely, about you? I am. absolutely. Okay, I'm not telling you you're wrong. I'm just using this as a topic because mm -hmm. I know it. I understand. 
And remember I, that uh, I support your right to your opinion and, most yeah. importantly, your right to be wrong. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's truly, that sums it up for how we all are. Mm -hmm. you know. Well, crying out loud, if me and Cirque agree about every fucking detail of every fucking thing, wow, that would be weird. I would feel very uncomfortable in a relationship like that. Because me and you, a lot of it is how differently we look at the same thing and virtually come out at the end with the same result, but we live a different life. Yeah. But the core of it is similar. Don't go out looking to hurt other people. Try to be nice. Try to get along. And yeah, there you go. And uh, the but anarchy to a person that votes or TV or Netflix, they got these idiotic political ex explanations about what an anarchist is. Or they label these thugs they pay to go do a riot. They call them anarchists to the public. Right. That's not anarchist, you dumbass. Learn how to fucking read, Johnny. <laughs> You're in anarchy today. This, this is what anarchy is. Uh, <clears throat> it's... We, we don't believe in rulers. That's the whole point. But we've got these people. They tell us they're representing, representing us. Got tempt twisted. But in the reality of it, they call themselves leaders. They take power from you. You never gave them. And then here we are with idiots like uh, Republicans and Democrats giving these people the very power they took without asking. And that's just lying. You want to see something sick? <laughs> Click on that. Oh, my word. Trump laughing. Vinny Voices. Is it? <laughs> Are you taking off my rant? Oh, man, I was being all philosophical and everything. Man, I was getting down to the chit. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm laughing. Uh -huh. I'm laughing. Looking at the guy. Uh -huh. I need something to fix that, so I'm going to watch this. The that was Trump apocalypse. Been, the Trump apocalypse. With the what? Oh, Lord. I defy anybody to write in print on the screen on the reallibertymedia.com chat. One thing the government did that didn't end in a total fucking disaster. Name it. There's nothing. There's zero on your resume. You're all about war, death, and debt. You did it now, buddy. You woke Cirque up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I deal with the cat and the dog and all that winch before she ever got a... Oh, good. Uh, she was napping through my Dork Table podcast with Vincenzo. Yeah, was Chloe, I was uh, I was laughing. And, <laughs> and pew, pew, pew. Did I get him? Ah, oh, she was too fast oh. for me. She got the duck. Yeah, well, that's all one. I'm bored of that Doug stuff. Uh, I'm more interested in uh, you seem to have made a sense of whatever you've read to get where you are now. Read okay, or so experienced or feel or uh, find or uh, follow along. Okay, yeah, but it's hard to say that we were all influenced by outside people to get us to where we are now. You know, nobody just sits alone. And has all these ideas about finance. And these things are taught to us. We learn them along the road. Now, one person will see it and say, oh, that's how it works. And the other person will just, just ignore how it works and go with the game anyway. And try to promote the game on you when you don't want any part of it. What? I'm a confused. Why are you confused? Because... I don't want to be led by anybody. You got a ring in your nose? Mm -hmm. Got a ring in my hand. See, I got a compromise where I normally wouldn't. Oh, you wear a wedding ring? Hmm? You wear yeah. a wedding You do? Yeah. What color is it? Silver. Yeah. Good one, Cyberg Noodle. Silver color. I like that. Yeah. Trump is Bigfoot. <laughs> Trump. God, I see that. Oh. It, it's true. Watch. You got. <laughs> oh, freaky dude. 
Freaky. <laughs> wow. I don't know. what. And what difference does it make? He's still holding the seat, whether you're for him or against him. And the things that, that he's taking credit for doing, he's not doing anything. He's just like a, a radio announcer. He's telling you what's happening. And then what he's telling you is 10 miles what's really happening. You're just believing the bullshit. But it's okay. There's more jobs. There's less aliens. Listen, There's a wall. I like the way he says huge. It is hilarious. Uh, huge. Huge. Gee, dude. And, and, he, and he does his lips like a, a simian. Huge. <laughs> Stop it. You're making me laugh. Yeah. It's further, <laughs> listen, further proof that Trump is Bigfoot. Yes. <laughs> We have footage, side by side. Thanks, Cyborg Noodle. Hey. If you've not seen this. We got the lone gunman all, he's rubbing all over Trump's ass and everything. Anybody support this Trump dick on the RLM, throw Judge Dredd's freaking help. He looks like an idiot out there all by himself. Grimner, you've got to include this in the blog. I'm going to copy it just uh, yeah. and repaste it. No. Give Cyborg some- Noodle credit. But Discovery, the exposure of Trump. When somebody at least is being related to the Bigfoot, right? But if somebody is that far out in the ocean on this issue and they're drowning, do we laugh at them or do we throw them a, a life raft thing? What do you want to do? Uh, throw them a life raft. Ah, fuck. Well, what if they don't accept it? Beat them in the head with an oar, knock them out, and then put a rope around their neck and drag them in? Send them to re-education camp, oh, just like they do. That's see, that's what's wrong with all, all these people. Think this, you need to be taught, uh, told every fucking thing. Yeah. Trust these idiots. These idiots are murdering the population in front of you. And if you can't fucking see that, it's probably because you're more interested in what's going on with Venezuelan oil. You know, because that's a nice distraction from the 5G that's coming up in the neighborhood you live in. That's not going to come down without a fight. Are you trying to scare me? Yeah. Well, if you live in the city where they're going to put it, yeah, fuck yeah. Be aware. Do some internet looking and check out this fucking 5G. It's a trap. It's bad. What you started talking about vibrational uh, frequencies. And 5G is not good for us. What is what aware? were you aware? No, no, what, it, not aware. But what is a where? A where? What is the question? What the hell? Can a tree? You, you said to be a where, and so I'm seeing what oh. a where is. And according to the UD, it is oh, a six. small mythical creature usually found around 103rd Street. This creature is afraid of boats and water, so that's uh, that's good that to then maybe have you a boat on standby in case of escape being necessary. Uh, bad news, its primary diet consists of cakes, and pies, and ice cream. You see more. At the, <laughs> How is that bad news? I don't understand the bad news. Where's the bad news part coming? Because, it's, yeah, your your cakes and pies and ice cream is not safe. It's not? No. Especially on no. 103rd Street. Because that's what this little guy likes to eat. Aware. Does. Oh. Okay. Well, I probably won't visit there soon anyway. Where's 103rd? In uh, New York City? Manhattan? Well, that would probably depend. That would be a street because the avenues run north and south and the streets run east and west. I wonder if it's in Chicago. Could be because there's lots of big cities that use the same in a you know format. You ever been to Chicago? Mm-mm. I've no, I've been there. around it and you know through the suburbs. But I didn't interest me. I like coasts. I was more uh, uh, yeah. I spent a lot of time on the coasts, east and west, and then a little time in the center or traveling through. That was a lot of fun. But most of it, coast. New York, L.A., Miami, San Francisco. Most of the uh, time 
consuming places where I lived, I would say. Man, I've been a lot of places. Yeah, you get to the point where you can't even remember the places you've been because you're so, you know, you're so old. If there's been a lot of change, I mean, if you've just done the same thing and you can remember your vacations, then you don't know what me and Vinny are talking about, huh, Vinny? Life is a vacation, it, huh? Rumpy, Rumpy says he, he was he did travel, and he knows what we mean. Oh, yeah. He lose track of the days and the clock and all that crap. If, if if it wasn't for other people, time wouldn't even matter. It's all about, it's, see, it's a big game. It's a way to control us. We're all, we live by the clock. I disavow it. My wife says, hey, come pick me up at 6 o'clock. <laughs> See, I can't win. Wow, I think uh, Hans says that he's a world traveler. Oh, yeah, in his mind. He doesn't, doesn't even, yeah, I don't believe anything this guy says. Bunch of crap. Yeah, he didn't used to be a soldier that uh, he portrays himself to be now. A soldier? Yeah, oh. he's, uh, yeah his uh, uh, persona has uh, evolved. Uh, I've been experimenting with him for quite a while. I almost have him trained. I noticed, mm-hmm. but he he's on the floor all the time, and yeah. we just what are you gonna do? Slap him in the nose with a rolled up newspaper? Yeah, pretty much. You know, <laughs> the trick is is to get him to where he'll sit and look me in the eye. <laughs> Good luck with that. You can't, even, you can't get him on the radio. The previews will. Kidding. I think wow. there's three of them. They work in shifts. He's bashing the women again. It must be the guy that hates women. Guy, one of them. Right. What? There's three of them. They rotate. Uh, we're gonna go till uh two hours. What time will we get started? Twenty something minutes in. We'll go to I, seven more minutes. That'll be. Uh, we'll end with a four twenty. Okay. Is that right? But we're with Hansel and Chloe right now. That was kind of fun. We haven't done this in a while, huh? Okay, we're at one hour and forty three minutes, so let's just finish the we're at two and that'll two be hours, it. yeah, two hours, so seven more minutes. Yes. Seventeen. Seventeen. Oh yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. I'll let you know. I hey, got a clock. Good. Uh, or Grim old let us know because he's yeah. got an eye on what we're doing. He's giving us you know, our backup today. We couldn't get this together without him. What the hell is going on? I ain't got no idea. I don't understand. I did it Thursday night. Fine. Everything worked just perfect. I get connected with you, and there's a glitch. We can't connect. We can't accomplish our mission. wonder what that's about. Don't know. Oh, you know, for people that vote and believe in government, I strongly recommend you read... Uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman. Who's the guy that wrote that? Let me uh, post. Yeah, what is his name? I'm going to get a okay. copy of Goody, good. That oh, is a wow. good one. That is a, definitely a good one. Yeah, but how many people got the interest to read it? I, mean, I got to write it right. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And... <laughs> Bring it right up. there. It is. It's a video link. There's a documentary. Yeah, I'll put the full doc up. Yeah, yeah. Give yeah. Post it up. We'll grab it. We want to put this up in the blog too, please, Grinder. A whole hour. Oh, whoops, hey, we was it. able to hear it though. That's pretty cool. That worked. Sorry about that, everybody. Well, we know we can hear it. I well, heard it. I don't know if they heard it. For those of you that claim to understand the United States government, although good work it does around the world. Watch that video and come back and tell me how you support America. I'm a hit. I'm a fake. I did it because too. Just because you live somewhere doesn't obligate you to support the fucking government that represents it. It's just a bit of dirt. But no. <laughs> he has no description in the, the link, so do your search engine and find out more. That- find out more. You can see the, the articles. I think I'll do that. I'm going to do that actually also because we need more than just a video for a, a reference. But it's a good it's a good point of view. I mean, if you see America.
America through the financing that they force on other countries and how they get about it. It's so deceitful and misleading. And right. Then they tell the public one, this other story about they're going in there helping. They ain't going to help anybody. They go in there, they do a big deal, and they put the burden of the loan on the public. And the public gets stuck with what America got stuck with, a central bank debt, which is un, you can't pay them back. They're not designed to be paybacked. They're designed to keep you in perpetual fucking debt. And it works. What, how many, what, $20 trillion America's in debt and all these yo-yos run around telling me how they got this and they got that? How can you have anything if the very fucking entity that supports you is in $21 trillion of debt? I mean, if they don't own it, they claim they own what you own, then who owns this shit? It's a scam or being hustled. All right, here's what I'm dropping in chat. Uh, this is without review. Well, I think you'll probably be, give the information. Want to know dot info John Perkins economic hitman. What's the point? I mean, if if you're still supporting Trump and you know this stuff, then you're a bigger moron than you make yourself out to be. How could anybody be that ridiculous? It's stupid. Yeah. You can't you cannot convince me that you understand the the absolute truth about how America works, what it's done to the rest of the world for the last 200 years, and tell me that you support what it does. There you go. It's insane. Crazy. Do you support what the American government does, Vincent? You know, the, the this is a, a, a myth and a misconception that, that to say that the government does it. The government, no, honestly, the government I, is a tool. It's what is used as the uh, uh, manipulator that uh, that makes the play and operation work, right? So, who controls the government? And it's well, not the people that are having the face. I mean, they are they are controlled. They're they're you know pushing buttons and uh, flipping switches and this and that, right? But there's somebody back there. That's uh, got a wire in their back. That's uh, in pulling the, the government strings. is the entertainment department of the military-industrial complex. That too, but you also have the uh, the the uh, uh, well. I, there's a name for it, but anyways, the media uh, complex as well. That's part of it. Oh, I pushed that one uh, minute too early, but yeah, the 420 report. It's live. Wow. Poor Hansel's in delusion over there. If not the us, then who? Part is it about that? You're so stuck on stupid that you can't understand the people behind the money. It's all this just being lied to. You think America's different than any other place? No. It's just what the population in any one area is willing to put up with. If not us, U.S., then who? But, but the us is not us, it's them. It's like the justice system is uh, just us for them and not for us. It's all tools. Just, you know, to say the government, what operates the government? You have uh, these other entities with the, uh, um, you know, the ABCs of government that are not lawful uh, agencies to act as they do. It, uh but they're legal. That's the trick. Avoid or evade. That's the difference, right? That's it. What other choices do you have? Well, smoke while you can, I guess, if you got them. Happy 420. All it really boils down to is what you commit yourself to. So if you don't, what's the big deal? And I'm not committed to America, whatever that is. Well, you better they get just, with the program, Mr. I could have been owned by a, a less fortunate country. I suppose. this passport gave me a lot of uh, a lot of liberties to travel that other people didn't have. So, but I'm not leaving. So, <laughs> I guess uh, a, wall, a wall really wouldn't matter, right? If I don't have a passport, anyways, what good would it do me to escape if ever I had to, right? Well, we're surrounded by water here, so. Mm. I don't see I don't see why anybody would want to come here by water, but you could. 
<laughs> I mean, people were trading in Copenhagen long before I ever got here. If they came on a board, yeah, if they were aboard. Boats that. were huge in Copenhagen. They they still celebrate their uh, their old sailors. The culture looks up to the sailor as uh, an icon here because oh. that's part of the culture. Fuck yeah. Boat ship builders, ship builders, and travelers extraordinaire. Nice. But but they're they're humble about it. They don't shove it in my face with a Danish flag every time I go out. Do people Just, dress up? Is it kind of like Halloween? Do they like dress up like Popeye or the the kid on the Cracker Jack box and no, maybe, I've, like Blackbeard? Um, that'd be fun. Like, you should start that. A brand new. Uh, don't. See, there you go. I should start. I mean, a fucking well, other country. I'm not there. You are. What the fuck you start here? That's not going to get me killed as a foreigner. <laughs> don't come to a foreign place to start anything. Come on, man. Get on board don't? with me here. <laughs> well, I was just trying to ignore the crap Jay Dredd's saying because it's so stupid. It's beyond the pale. I don't, I don't know what to say about Hansel. He's just... Funny, I guess he's trying to be a comedian, or he's. I can't keep or, up with him. Not there's no shit. But thank you for introducing him to the RealLibertyMedia dot com chat for the entertaining content. Because <laughs> yeah. I try to make this crap up, and he just writes it for me. <laughs> and these are that'll go on for years. I mean, think about it. After the next election, election selection. And Trump's a gone. Well, I'll be. I have fucking years of Trump jokes to tell in the future. Yeah, but they're setting up who's going to be the next uh, puppet. All right. Oh, they have already got him selected. Undoubtedly, there's you know there are a few that will will take any one of these right here. So we'll all put them up there and uh, let them. Uh, well, to me, the people in the front face of the news <laughs> are imbecilic idiots that need to shut the fuck up. So I don't laugh listening to him. I laugh about 10 or 12 seconds and then click. Who wants to hear that ignorance that comes out of government? It's stupid. You can't tell other people what to do. Punishing them financially never works in the long run. So this is all a big game and you're just stuck in stupid believing it's real. For your good, not for your bad. Hey, it's Frumpy. Are you Are you in Kansas? I see you keep posting that. Did you? Are you down there by Grammy? Because that's right close where she's at. Did you see that? What happened? I was talking to my wife oh. about what we're doing here, sir. I see. Uh, I forgot how much time we had left since we talked last I, time. I did, too. I was just <laughs> looking at the clock trying to remember. Uh, <laughs> He, she distracted me. I'm distracted. I don't care anyway. We just do this shit. And, and me and you disagree about things, but not. See, this is what I was so pleased about doing the dork table with Mary for. Is me and her disagreed about almost every damn thing, but it never was personal. It was always just, oh, okay, well, that's the way you see it. This way I see it. And uh, it was a very unique radio thing. And I had to give that up. And I'm sad. I'm uh, gonna cry. I just gotta tell you again that uh, I said you can you can disagree with me all you all you want, and and I'm gonna support your right to be wrong every time. <laughs> it's a good stand to take, <laughs> but that's that's the same stand as my worthy op- opposition. You know what worthy opposition means when you translate it? What it means? Prick over there. It means what? My worthy adversary translates to that prick over there. I see. Is that like a dongle? Probably. Maybe two dongles. Two dongles. It'll put an eye out if you're not careful. Ouch. I don't want to know all that stuff. Save your perversion. No. Weekly podcast. There's a difference between a perversion and a preversion. So are you going to go out and go all Trump on us and vote Republican now that Hansel's (laughs) Five minutes left, Dirk Cruz. Wow. Poor Hansel really believes this Trump thing is real. 
how do you tell people? It doesn't involve us. We're just cannon fodder for the banks. We're chattel. We're collateral on a freaking bank loan to drop bombs so that six families can eat off gold plates. And when you tell people this, they go, no, they're not. You're crazy. Well, then why don't you explain what all the complaining about shit in the streets in San Francisco is about? Listen, I'm in, I'm embedding secret yeah. Morse code into this. <laughs> listen, here, here, right, hold man. on just a second. Wait, shh, listen. Did you hear it? I just don't know what it is, so it's, whatever. Yeah, it's embedded secret code. Wow. It's wow. Morse code. Power trip about foreign governments and see that's the stupidity that that government breeds is you've got this some kind of control over other people because your government's a bunch of crooks. No, it's you don't got shit. You're just talking for somebody you don't know. And it's sad. Oh, I'm a m I'm in the military and I'm that nah, please. You're as insane as you sound, sport, but we like that. It could be much more fun, though, couldn't it? Well, yeah, it wasn't so over the top and stupid all the day. It just gets old and boring. I have to block him. I swear I get so much of that chitter-chatter, and my brain just goes to the puzzle, so I block him and talk to other people. And we have more fun talking about the weather that way because lately that's been a big issue moose and uh, frumpy who else uh, mental pancakes we've had a few people suffering up in the winter in the getting deep really deep. dream right. fucking well beetle I mean just if it was happening to me I'd be all upset be, hey this ain't right what the fuck because that's what we do we complain when things are bad that's what we do. I don't see much extreme where I live. You know, it's very balanced for the most part. And every once in a while I go off because, uh, shit, I'm just me. That's the whole point is we're all just us trying to be a part of this thing that's just bullshit. It's not real. It's killing us all. And it's killing us all telling us it's not killing us all. So... Until you see that, you're going to support the fucking very thing that we're all against. <laughs> what are you doing here? You ain't going to change my mind, so I guess you just want to be an interruption. You tell me. Well, discourse and uh, discovery, I'll say it like that. Yeah, but the consensus is that the guy doing all the screaming about Republican and Trump is the outcast, so... Why does he continue? Why does he push it so hard? Maybe he really, really, really believes. Maybe he really, really, really needs some of the shit that he accuses me of doing. <laughs> but, well, let's let's just take a look at his point then. What if America what, what were if, not to stay in control of this uh, hemisphere? What, hmm. what, what, then? what if you break it down? That's why I say you can't just uh, destroy what is and think that uh, you'll have order arise out of the uh, chaos. You'll never have order. It'll be order, but it'll be the order of uh, uh, those in control, the ones that designed the disorder to start with. But the smaller the population, the harder to control it, not the other way around. Not unless uh, you're the elite that has all the uh, resources. Then it's very easy to control the, the lesser amount of people. The more people there is, the uh, the more they have to fear. But and also, you know, it's such a conundrum that everybody's, you know, stuck in their uh, reality that they've created for us. So. Well, I agree with you on that one, sir. And uh, I just tend to not fall for the stories I'm told by strangers that do not prove their self with anything other than other people's crap that I didn't believe I so now that ain't gonna work that's it buddy we done hey
Thank you, Grimner, and thank you, Vincent, and all the RLM Chitter Chatters um, for all the participation they do to give us something to bullshit about. Pasta. You want to take us a pasta? Yeah. Well, I'll run it out real quick here. Uh, Saturday, today, we just did this, and tomorrow we're going to do some other stuff like uh, listen to blues and uh, play some trivia. Come over about 11 o'clock uh, sometime. <laughs> then how comes along? Okay, it would be uh, 12 o'clock Eastern, uh, but the trivia usually starts in the blue, start a little bit earlier, so come uh, about a quarter to 11 Eastern. Uh, 3 o'clock Eastern, Hal Anthony is behind the woodshed, and we got some grim leftovers on uh, Mondays at 7 p.m. on the East Coast. I'm just going to try to stay all times Eastern here. Tuesday, the Flash with uh, In a Perfect World and I to be along as well at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And you, whoa, 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 whoa. no, uh, it's not just me, Bonehead. I said and me, come along. And it, that's not the right time, 7 p.m. Eastern, it's at uh, 12 p.m. Uh, Central, <laughs> 1 p.m. Eastern, yeah, In a Perfect yeah. World. Uh, Grammys, uh, 6 p.m. in Kansas, 7 Eastern on the Rocket Chair. And Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern for what a deal. 20% off and Friday uh, of me at noon Central. Uh, grab me back at 6 Central. And uh, the Freakers ball y'all at 10 Central. I'd be a little better to stay in Central time. And uh, again, back here to, uh, next week on uh, Due Torque Table. At noon, at noon Eastern. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks.